Hey, watch out here. You're in the way. <laughs> okay, I've been hanging out with Annie for maybe 20 minutes or so. A little grooming. Yeah, a little brushing and stuff like that. And I thought, you know, I think today is going to be the day that I just go ahead and trim her. And I grabbed my pick, hoof pick. It's actually my daughter's hoof pick. I like it a lot. And I thought, I wonder if I could just pick up her feet and give them a clean. I didn't have a camera rolling, but so you don't get to catch the very first time, but this will be the second time. So I'm going to draw Annie this way a little. Good girl. And then get her to switch sides. Okay, so I'm still just grooming. Okay, I'm not no halter, no lead. I'm not gonna tire. I'm the groomer, the groomy. This is a relationship that we have. And I ask for the leg. And I give it back. That's not even the coolest part. Watch this. I hope it goes, I hope it goes the way I hope it does. <laughs> and I give it back. Now, I think I've said this before when I worked with these British Columbia Wildies. Essentially, there are feral slash wild horses here in British Columbia, Canada. There's some in Alberta and many more people know them as sort of the Mustangs of America kind of idea. Same sort of idea, some unknown breed. We call them Wildies, called Mustangs, whatever they are. But I have never encountered such a brilliant, like just smart and, and, and a horse Horses that learn stuff, in my mind, really quickly. They just pick it up. We, we follow a pattern, at least a pattern that I believe is obviously effective. And it just, every time it happens, it blows my mind. I don't have to, I don't have to force her into anything. We just kind of, kind of do it. I don't want to groom you, stop bugging me. But she's, she's a, this adorable little, let's try to see if it's a fluke. Nope. And I swear, I have not picked up her feet even once before this. So I'm really just, I just want to brag about her. And I, I got to say, if I say it again, if there is any chance that anybody can get one of these little things in your life, you want a horse, then these these horses are it. It kind of makes me wonder if I can get the back. Should we try? Why not, right? I mean, we're here. We could give it a try. For the record, I don't think it's going to work, but we could try. Okay, I picked it up. I picked it up. That's all I want to. I don't want to push my luck. Cause that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Annie, how about that other foot? See, cause we're here already. Let's try the other back one. Got it a little. I love it. Today's trimming day. So first order of business. Hey, no, don't, don't, don't. First order of business is to see if I can give him a brush and a clean because I've already given her a brush and a clean. So this is just an extension. This is just grooming. Um, anyways, I can't stress enough how important it is to make sure horses feel safe and comfortable when working with their feet. You know, I, I can't even count how many times I've seen hoof providers create an unsafe or uncomfortable environment. You know, I could tell many stories. I could tell a recent story of the unfortunate experience, time, working with a farrier to pick up the feet. And the horse wasn't, wasn't very comfortable. And it wasn't minutes. It wasn't minutes before this person was upset. Oh. 
tell Luke where to go. Yeah, it's, and if you have, I believe, if you have a comfortable, safe, patient sort of demeanor and attitude towards these guys, I think it goes far. Where are you going, Annie? Are you chasing Luke again? No. So, you're a good horsey. Yeah. <laughs> Still working on top of her head. But she always comes back. I know, I just dropped it there. Yeah. So we keep working on it. And uh, just like the feet, lots of patience, lots of love, lots of care. And then pretty soon, they just get past it. Yeah, no big deal. <laughs> but she'll still follow me. Lots of draw. So, BC Wildies, everybody. Fantastic little horses. Learn quick. Today's gonna be a big day, but I just want to feature this really quickly. So, that's it for this short little one. Patience, care, good feelings. Goes a long way for everything. That's it. I'll see you guys in the next one.